What is up you guys, Illinois Outdoorsman, and today we're going to go test out this new depth finder out at Weldon Springs, so let's go figure out some uh, down imaging together you guys, stay tuned. Alright, what is up you guys, so we are out here at Weldon Springs on the water, um, I don't know if you guys can see right here. I got my new Hummingbird Piranha Max 4 DI. This unit does have down imaging. Um, we'll switch over to this camera here in a little bit. Okay, I want to. I want to try this down imaging. I came over right back here. Is a tree laid down in the water, and I've always known there was a couple branches on it. But according to this, there's a couple branches, a stump on the backside, and it drops off on this side in the depth. It's like a four foot drop. It's six foot coming in on it and you come down the other side, it's 10 foot. So you have a drop on top of that. So I'm gonna take this chatter bait because I did see a couple of decent fish right now. It looks like a, either a stump or, right now fairly flat bottomers. What appears to be fish. I've got the sensitivity set, just five right in the middle. I played with the zoom for a minute and I didn't like it. it everything was distorted. Um, I'm still trying to figure controls out, so. But I do have another ram mount extension, so I can put my second piece of ram mount on there to raise this up. Because I don't like having to look down at it while I'm going. So it's going to raise it up to here. About three inches, four inches, something like that. Um, yeah, that's all right. I have a little higher than the characters. I'm big. So we're going to get over to this next lay down, you guys, and then we will, I'll shoot with this one, and we will give you guys a picture of what this a Hummingbird Piranha Max 4DI looks like. Alright, you guys, so as you can see, this right here, there's a lay down right here next to me, or what's left of a lay down, it's all rotted out, and that's one of the, the stumps sticking up from this tree, it actually fell towards the bank, and then right here, Sorry, you guys. These are some fish here. Right now, I'm kind of sitting over it, so it's really going to balloon up. And then that's another part of the laydown structure that's right down here. It's a pretty good chunk of the tree. As you guys can see, this down imaging is really, really detailed. It says I'm in four or five feet of water. I'd believe it. Oh, sorry, you guys. I mean, that's right here we've got a fish. Down here we probably got a couple of fish. I got some more fish sitting down here on the bottom of this tree. So, I mean, I don't know how well you guys can see that. That tree branch there. You got one back here at the fork in the tree and then a couple sitting out in front of it. This up here at the top is a little ball of bait. And then all these down here are more than likely like crappie and bluegill because a lot of the crappie guys do come out here and they fish this stretch of bank right here really heavily jigging for crappie. So I'm assuming just knowing that, that those are all crappie. Um, looks like a pretty decent one in here too, this bright one. Probably a pretty decent crappie. But now we've kind of drifted back off of you guys can see right here that the, the stump is right up here and then the tree comes in from out here and lays up so there's a stump out here that's part of the tree up there and then you have the next tree draped over that you guys saw on the depth finder on the down imaging um so yeah with this stretch of bank here it's 10 to 12 feet deep these guys sit on this stretch of bank right here and you got this one right here it's real shallow back there but these guys uh come up in here and crappie fish just real good all right, you guys, I know over there we showed you the tree. All this right here is grass. This is normally on the edge of this flat. Oh, I'm gonna turn here a little bit so we stay in it. We get a bunch of grass and it's all mat up on the top and it's starting to get there again. Um, but yeah, this is normally where I catch a lot of bass. The channel's right off to the right out here and it drops from four to about 12 feet. It'll start dropping off out here and it's right now it's reading the mat. I can kind of see some of it where it's starting to get up towards the surface. So this is all just matted grass. It's good for frogs back here. It protects this little flat as well from the wind and everything else. 
So the spawn fly this grass helps protect it. Then it washes bait fish over the top of it and into it a lot of the time. But that's what grass looks like, you guys. It's matted pretty good. Yeah, I can definitely see it now. So we're gonna, my transducer's sitting right on top of it, just kind of floating through it. So I'm gonna get out of the grass. I ain't gotta clean the transducer up, you guys. I don't know how well you can see me. Um, this flat I was just talking about in showing you guys the depth finder and everything else. I threw this jig back up here in the shallow stuff, got out of the shallow stuff and winded it back in and he hit right at the boat and he hit like a tank, you guys. It's a decent pound and a half, two pound fish, super strong. He come up and slammed this jig. Ryan, you wanted a shot with fish Jig in the mouth, buddy. There you go, right in the roof of the mouth, right up here in the corner of the roof. Um, oh God, he got it good too, you guys. Right there, good old football jig, just winding it back in. He come out of nowhere, you guys. Check that fish out. Nice, healthy buck bass, you guys. These are the buck bass out here at Weldon Springs. These are the bucks, these are the males. The females are phenomenal out here, you guys. Let's let him go and get him back on his way. Here you go, buddy. Go make us some babies. The only reason I'm drying my hands, you guys, is this wind is a little bit chilly. And it's kind of drifting me out of here. But, let's, so if we're gonna swim this jig, I tried chatterbait already, and I got no hits on chatterbait, but it, it, the blade might have been too much. It might have had too much blade, and then it was just overwhelming to them, so we're gonna coast back up here. I thought I felt a thump when I first did it. I set the hook and there was nothing there, so okay. Wound it in a little bit, let it sit for a second, and then, Reeling it back there, go on the next clip. Next pitch back in there, and he hit it right at the boat. He was aggressive coming for it. So let's try this again, and I'm just gonna leave this camera around. I can edit all that out later. But that's what we're gonna have to do here. Picture good thing. I got that camera rolling. I can pull a picture from that. And this is what we're going to start fighting, you guys, especially trying to swim a jig through this. Because as soon as it hits the water, it's a not the ideal jig for swimming it's a football jig but that's the color they're wanting to hit on is that peanut butter jelly color yeah get back out of here start to wrap stuff up and accumulate stuff on my transducer here there we go and i can definitely tell when i pull the transducer out you guys like like a light strike on the screen transducer not the water it's just black screen does not read. And then to go into simulation mode, where you can just run it without a trans, you have to physically unplug the transducer. Up. you guys so I'm gonna head back to the boat ramp it's been a fun day I got one wasn't really planning on it did get to use the depth finder kind of figure it out a little bit I think we're gonna have to do a more in-depth video and really go through the settings on it um, I know the more expensive 
the higher end of a depth finder you get, the more options you can play with, stuff like that. This one is pretty basic, but you get down imaging. The basics, you can kind of play with them a little bit, but we'll definitely have to go over where we don't take any fishing poles or anything like that and just do a strict depth finder video. Maybe even under the transducer, we can do it just through simulations. We can see what it looks like, because it, from what I watched in the simulation to what I showed you guys in the video, it's the same, so. We might be able to do simulation and go through and figure out how to read it, play with settings, stuff like that. Um, but if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram, you guys. I try and post on there whenever I find something you guys might enjoy or links to videos, stuff like that. Um, but until next time, you guys, I'll see you out there.